There was uh, roughly 1650 pounds of corn in this tote. Uh, I'd watch a YouTube video on an auger setup where a guy took a bulb, garden bulb, planting auger, and went through the valve there and augered it out. Well, I tried that. There's the valve that was originally on the tote. It worked to a point, but it was very slow. And it was going to take a long time to fill up a five gallon bucket. So I instead took the valve off, which allowed the tote to gravity drain. And it drained, if I had to guess, probably out of the 1600 pounds. Probably every bit of 12, 13, 1400 of it. Just on its own. And fast enough to where I couldn't enjoy my beer. Uh, just to keep up with it. I was constantly going back and forth, filling up tubs, putting empty tubs on top of full ones and filling them up. So on and so forth. Three high, that allows me to use my grain scoop there and fill up the five gallon buckets, which I am filling and feeding onto plastic feed troughs. Three Holsteins, uh, I'll get a better picture in the daylight, or a better video, and one Hereford. She makes the Holsteins look a little bony. I'm going to feed them 40, no, 50, I'm gonna, they're about eight, 900 pounds right now. I'm gonna bump them up to between the four, they're getting 50 pounds of corn, whole kernel. I did a little research on whole kernel versus rolled or cramped or shelled, whichever term or whatever you call it. And the percentage loss on whole corn, feeding whole corn compared to crimp corn was so small, the price didn't justify buying crimp corn, especially in bags when I could do a whole 250 gallon tote of corn through my local co-op that I actually worked for. So it made it a little easier. And uh, with this steak maker, you can buy it pre-mixed in 50 pound bags for anywhere from eight to $10 a bag. Um, I think I'm gonna pay probably $12 a bag for the 4020 finisher which is kind of the concentrate of the regular steak maker that's already mixed with corn. The guy at the feed store told me if I have access to my own corn, it is very much worth your time to mix it yourself. Now, what I do is I dump with five gallon buckets and my trusty scoop, 50 pounds using my bathroom scale of corn and 10 pounds of steak maker pellets. That gives you a 80-20 mixture, which says right on the label, 
that I showed you earlier. Um, 150 pounds into 1850 is close enough to 20 percent to me, and maybe right towards the butcher date, which is in 98 days from now. I might bump that up a little bit more if I have some to get rid of. I don't want it to go to waste. And right now, mixing it myself, I am getting it for under seven dollars a bag. It's more. It's closer to six than seven. I haven't put an exact sense to it, but uh. I'm getting the corn for four seventy a bushel, which is sixty pounds, and I'm getting the steak maker for ten fifty. I think is what the final price there. So combining the two with the twenty eighty mixture, yeah, I'm right around six dollars a bag, and to buy it pre mixed from the feed store. It was going to be 10, well, 8 to 12, depending on where you get it from. 8 was the cheapest, so I don't know if I really could have got it for 8. That's just what a guy thought he could get it for. So, saving some money to make some hamburger. And it takes a lot to get Holsteins fed out. They're starting to round out pretty nicely. I wish I would have took videos of them, what they looked like before, just coming off grass. I've got 5 acres of Bermuda. And it kept up with them uh, until we kind of had a drought late summer going into early fall. And they uh, started showing their hips a little bit. But now that I got them on all corn and a brome bale, all corn steak maker brome bale mixture, they're starting to square up pretty nicely. I'll make another video showing how I do my mixture. It's pretty simple. I don't try to mix it up. I pour the corn in and just dump the steak maker on top. The cows kind of get to the corn first, but they end up cleaning up the troughs. There's never anything left behind. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to do this maybe two more times. I think total, I'm gonna end up feeding 6,000 pounds of, no, whoa, that's way off. Um, probably about 4,500 pounds of corn going around 15 pounds of dry matter grain dry matter grains a day per cow and i'm adding brome to that the science i did the math and all the science it's escaping my brain right now but i'm pretty much gonna have to get about three two more of these full totes uh long story short even though we're going on eight minutes on this video I'm going to feed these Holsteins and one Hereford out for less than $200 per head on pretty much a full grain diet. Corn, steak maker, Purina steak maker, premium feed mixed with whole grain corn. And I don't think that's too bad to get them from the eight, 900 pounds they are now to hopefully well over a thousand. Well, if you like this video, it's a little different than what I usually do. Most of my videos include guns. I could uh, run inside real quick and piss off the neighbors on a Thursday night. But if you like this video, uh, comment. Tell me you want some more of this. If not, tell me to go back to the guns. That's fine with me too. They're a little bit more fun. A little bit, believe it or not, more expensive though. In this day and age of October 29th, 2020.